welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Suki. Today's video is going to be New Year's related as we all know or by the time you're watching this it's already 2020. It's crazy if you think about it how fast time flies. Parang kailan lang nung nag New Year ng 2019 tapos ngayon ito na naman 2020. New Year as people say new me but for me I say a new wardrobe. So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you all the items I picked up that I plan on wearing in 2020 or I plan to bring with me in 2020 to spice up my wardrobe. Here we go! Without further ado, let's hop into the video. Okay, I'm just gonna get this piece that I'm wearing out of the way. I really like a dramatic sleeve so I am all for this balloony sleeves and then cinch at the wrist. Sobrang elegant niya lang tingnan it. It's got this poppy sleeve na sobrang uso ngayon. And also, the smocking detail on the tummy is something that I really, really liked about this. Because in 2019, I've been wearing clothes na medyo loose on the tummy area because I've been really conscious of my body. But in 2020, I plan to um, choose more pieces na mas flattering and mas nakikita yung waist ko or mas nadidefine yung waist ko because I tend to lose my shape a lot and for someone na hindi ganun katangkaran it's really not the best way to go for if you want to look taller by the way, I got this top from Lazada. It's from the Taobao collection. And most of the first few items that I will be showing you galing din sa Taobao collection. Next on my list, I particularly picked out because I was planning to wear this on a wedding that I was supposed to attend, I think, last week. But unfortunately, I was not able to go. But I still really liked it. This really cute top na merong puffy sleeves, of course. It's almost the same as what I'm wearing right now, except that the whole um area here na para sa body smocked siya ayan it stretches out quite nicely i can't really say much about the quality and the aesthetic of this top kasi ang ganda niya and very high quality in my opinion the only concern that i have with this one is that it's too short and i am someone na maikli yung torso so kahit crop top usually hindi naman ganun kaikli sa akin it stops above my belly button so medyo maikli siya than i normally go Go for so I really have to wear something na high waisted like jeans or trousers to pair with this because I'm not really used to showing my tummy. But overall, this is one of my favorite pieces dito sa haul na to. Third piece is also from the Taobao collection, and this one I plan to wear on New Year's Eve for obvious reasons. Tada! Ito siya. So it's a red polka dotted top. This is also so flattering on my body type. Especially sa shoulders kasi ito mukhang full yung shoulders ko. Pero if I take this out, pababa siyang ganyan. So medyo bitin. So it's cute kapag nakapuffy sleeves ako kasi parang alam mo yun, parang broad yung shoulders ko. This one stops just below my abdomen. So okay lang yung length niya. Hindi siya kasing ikli nitong una kong ipinakita. I can wear this with a regular pair of skinny jeans. Super, super love this top as well. Next item and still to go with that smock trend. This is the only item that I picked out from Forever 21. It's a regular tongue top. Only the full body, including the straps, is smocked. As you can see, it stretches. I really like this top because although the design of it is very trendy, it can still pass as a basic piece because white lang siya and you can put this under a blazer, jacket, whatever, or you can just wear it on its own. The only issue that I have is that the straps are too long for me. Medyo ayan o. Oh. Parang kailangan mo siyang hilain pa baba for it to sit properly dito sa may shoulders mo. Yun naman talaga yung lagi kong issue sa mga Forever 21 tank tops. Masyadong mahaba yung straps nila. But anyway, I plan to wear this under things or layer this with things so it doesn't really matter. Backstory before I show you the next few pieces. I was looking through my closet when I cleaned it out a few days ago and the notice ko na sobrang konti pala ng mga basic pieces ko. So it's difficult for me to create outfits on a daily basis because all I have are trendy outfits or statement pieces. Wala ako masyadong basic pieces na pwede kong i-mix and match with my other items. So I decided to pick out um, some basics from H&M. So let's start with this black long sleeves. 
meron na ako nito actually. I just picked out the second one because yung una ko, matagal ko na siya nabili. So, medyo namumuti na siya. Borderline kupas na siya. I got it on sale which is always a bonus. So, love love this one as well. Next, I also picked out some t-shirts. So, I have a black and a white t-shirt. These are just basics that you can throw on when you're feeling lazy. Ito mga shorts na to, hindi naman siya ganun ka-regular looking though. Medyo cropped siya and cuffed yung sa sleeves niya. So, instantly parang stylish ka na or parang very relaxed yung look na binibigay niya which I like for my basics. Next item may come as a surprise for those people that work with me on a daily basis because ang tagal ko nang hindi nagsusot nito. So, this one is a skinny ankle length skinny jeans from H&M. So, it's in this blue wash. Very classic if you ask me. I haven't worn a proper pair of skinny jeans for, I would say, two or three-ish years na. Because I've been losing and gaining weight in the span of like two to three years. So, it's difficult for me to find the right size. And also, the fact na wide yung hips ko, tapos may clean yung legs ko, is difficult. I know dun sa mga ganun yung body shape, alam ko na alam nyo yung struggle. Kapag nagsasize up ka dahil hindi ka siya sa waist mo, humahaba siya. So, ang ending niya, sobrang haba niya to the point hindi na maganda yung fit. So, I just pick out trousers that's easier for me. So, finally, I found something that actually fits both my hips but it's also not too long on me and the price is just right so I'm really happy that I found this jeans from H&M so love that for me so we're down to the last few items and these are the items that I picked out from Tai Tai but oh my god guys going to Tai Tai during the holidays is crazy I mean yung normal na punta sa Tai Tai gawin yung times 3 or times 4 sa dami ng tao it's super like chaotic grabe grabe lang talaga so i was not able to get a lot of items but i would say that the items that i picked out i really like first is this cheetah printed na lettuce hem sleeves tsaka neckline shirt and it's super super soft and stretchy which i like also this is not too cropped this is okay it, it's like a t-shirt fit pero mas flattering on my body. I really like this because it's a statement piece but I got this for really really cheap. Sobrang sobrang ganda nung price nito. I was not planning on getting a dress. Much more a maxi dress. But when I stumbled upon this one na curious ako. So when I tried it on I fell in love with the fit of it. You will see on the try on and I'm just so so happy that I found this and it's super super cheap as well. I think I got this for 150 and Sobrang nice non. It doesn't look like 150 at all in person. The fabric is also really, really good. And I'm just so excited to create an outfit using this in 2020. You might be seeing this on my Instagram. So please do follow me on my Instagram at mycity underscore. And that's it for today's video. I'm really happy to be back. And Happy New Year to all of you guys. I hope 2020 will bring so much blessings and happiness to you all and like i always say may you all have clear skin and happy hearts bye one two three fuck it